Hey YouTube, it's your girl, it's Najee, and I'm back with another video. So, let me just tell y'all, I know it's been a long time, and I mean like some months, but i actually been working on myself um, ever since I had the baby and whatnot. My body has been not too great, right? So, I was unhappy with my body because... I'm looking on Instagram and everything like, oh, I'm going to have a snapback body, whatever, just like how all the other girls are having it, whatever, whatever. So what I did for myself was um, I decided to do something different, right? So they have this new thing called um, lipo captivation, uh, laser lipo, um, wood therapy, and the vacuum, uh, it's like a vacuum suction thing. Oh, skin tightening skin tightening and then it's like a vacuum thing whatever where they vacuum and dump all your stuff anyway so my best friend her name is Dierica. her ig page is d-e-e -E underscore beauty um uh so yeah so she uh it's currently in esthetician school so she would be almost every her license um but she has a business that does lipo captivation um, and she has this package called Mommy Makeover Package. So what happened was I was very unhappy with my body. And I told her, like, I'm just thinking about just going ahead and going to get a BBL. It's not that much. Payment plan paid off in two years, right? So she was just like, you know, maybe you should try what I'm doing. And I was just like, mm, okay, maybe I can try that first to see what happens. And then after that, you know, if it doesn't go well or if I don't like my body, we can just go ahead and go to Miami for the surgery. So I actually did her session for the first time and I had results and it was crazy. Um, I did three sessions with her and on the third session, I was like, okay, I like my body. You know, it's, it's coming along, whatever, but I still needed like that. I still miss my old body and it was littler. Like I'm gonna show some pictures. So here, this is how my body was before so y'all see how my body was whatever whatever right so um i'm gonna show you pictures of how my body was after the captivation process this is what the pictures I'm about to show you is the after the third session. Okay, so y'all see the whole difference. So at that point with my body, I decided, okay, what else can I do that isn't going to be surgery and it costs less? So my bright idea was ooh, personal trainer. Let's get a personal trainer. So I knew my birthday was coming up, right? And I knew I wanted to start the year off being fine. Like, why? Like, I need to get my body back and, you know, let me just love myself even more with my body. So I got this personal trainer. His name is Lavish and he's on Instagram and whatnot. Um, it was a $250 class, but it included a meal plan, um, a workout, and I think it also included like a sauna uh, access to the sauna and all this other stuff. I never got into the sauna. I never did the smoothies. I never did all the extra stuff that it included. Only thing I came to was the workouts. And to be honest, I didn't even work out that much a week. I think I did maybe like on average twice a week. But on some weeks, I came three times. You're supposed to come four times with better results or something like that. Anyway, so with the meal plan alone, I had great, great results um basically like with day one you will go and do a detox no for the first three days you'll do a detox so you're not eating no carbs at all like at all and then you can't even eat certain vegetables like brussels sprouts um broccoli and kale no so and then when you're eating fruit um you have to have like a bowl of strawberries or like a bowl of blueberries the only fruit that you can eat is strawberries blueberries and grapefruit right so after that, I was just like, oh my gosh, this is so hard, whatever. And to kick it off even more, you can't have no salt on your seasoning, on your food. My bad. So I was eating chicken, like, okay, so it was like 
every meal has to be four ounces, right? So you're eating four ounces, four ounces, four ounces, four meals, but he didn't tell you like the time of the day and et cetera. So anyways, I had to figure that out. So what I did, and this might not work for everybody. Let me just put that out there. So on day one, you have to take like two detoxes. Um, and then like in the morning, you eat like two boiled eggs, I think a grapefruit. And the afternoons, you're eating like chicken and green beans or chicken and um, spinach, uh, shrimp and spinach and fish and spinach. Like it's just that. And then um, you do that for three days, just like that. Um, and then the snacks that you'll have, I think the snacks were like um, a detox tea or lemon water. Like it wasn't legit snacks. So I did that for three days and it was kind of hard. Oh, and most importantly, you need to drink a whole gallon. And this, this portion right here is not the gallon. It needs to fill up to the top. So you need to drink all this in one day, right? So, and it has to be alkaline water. No Dasani, because it has apparently has acid in it or something like that. But anyways, so that's what I did. I did that for three days and I felt like um, I dropped like, I want to say I dropped like two or three pounds off of that alone. So, but I think it had something to do with like water or something like that anyway. So, um... I then um, start the next portion of the week, which is like uh, four or five and beyond, whatever days. So um, with the rest of the days, you go into a low carb diet. So like in the morning, you'll eat only a cup of oatmeal. And no, you can't put butter sugar and all that other stuff in it. No low sugar that you see in the um, store it has like the low, whatever. No, you can't have none of that. So it's basically just straight up oatmeal a cup and uh, what I used to do is put strawberries inside of it and mix it in so it has some type of like natural sweetness whatever to it um just to get it out of my head so everything is a mind game everything everything testing your mental everything is um I didn't believe that I could do this diet at all when I was looking at a piece of paper I was just like oh no but one thing that you can do you can use Miss Dash seasonings um pink Himalayan salt and that works um, but for the whole entire time when I did my diet, I didn't put salt in anything. So I didn't even use the pink Himalayan salt. I just used the Miss Dash seasoning, which was horrible and it was disgusting. No offense to the um, seasoning company. But anyway, um, I actually did like the three, um, you still have to eat like four meals a day and it still has to be like four ounces. Now on, um, I can't give out details of exactly what I ate and et cetera, because um, I feel like that would be too much. The video would be so long. Um, but if you guys want me to tell you personally, DM me or let me know, I don't care. So anyway, main thing is stay away from beef, pork, any type of sugar, any type of butter, any type of things that make the food great. Yeah, stay away from it. Um, and make sure you stick to four meals a day. So you'll be eating all these small portions, but you're flushing it out with all this water. Um, and then probably like I think at week three, we had to take pictures or something like that. I still haven't seen the pictures to this day. But anyway, uh, I actually had to drink like it was like you're going back to harsh. Like you could only eat shrimp for a whole weekend, like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Only seafood, no chicken. And if you did have to incorporate chicken because you're allergic, then well, whatever. That weekend was hard. And I mean hard, hard. I actually did something different because my birthday was coming up. Most people wouldn't go that far or whatever, but I did. So what I did was my best friend, Dierica, has this slimmy gel it comes in a little tube hold on real quick i'm gonna show you okay so this is the slimmy gel that she used well gave me so i just scoop it out and i rub it all over my stomach i rubbed it all on my back fat like everything that was just like um 
hard to get rid of i rubbed it on everything and then i wrapped my body with plastic wrap and you need this wrap it around wrap it around wrap it around wrap it around so you just like super tight then i got my waist trainer this is just a prop because this is not my waist trainer this is actually a large i'm actually a small now um but this is a waist trainer this is the one with like two but it also has like the clamps and then you can zip it up like with a zipper or whatever so i wrapped my body up really really tight with plastic put this on and i went to sleep so that's that's the part that's not healthy so anyway so you're not supposed to sleep in your waist trainer at all you're not supposed to sleep with your um slimming gels and stuff like that you're not you're only supposed to have slimming gel on for like a couple hours and then you rinse it off or something like that i wanted fast results so i did what i needed to do so don't take my advice on there because i'm not going to be responsible for nothing that happens to you in your sleep and etc but i'm just telling you what i did and what worked for me so yeah i did that for like a whole weekend and it worked like my body was like you know and then my birthday week came and etc and this is how my body looked after so that's my best um, thing for you to for me to tell you like what I did to get my body um, when I was training um, we actually ran like it felt like we ran for like 30 minutes and it felt like the rest of the 15 minutes we was doing squats we did squats jumping squats which is where you have like the weight in between your chest and you're like hop squat hop squat whatever um, we did the jumping squats I don't know. Anyway, we we did so much. Um, like 250 jumping jacks. Like it was like extreme. Uh, like numbers. 30 burpees at a time. Um, and then one day he did. He was just throwing out stuff. So you was just on the ground up, on the ground up. Um, we did like push ups where we was just like down, up, down, up. Like you know, slow. Um, and everything we did was resistance bands. So I would say invest in resistance bands. Um, if you do do a training course with him, it's, it's worth it. You'll actually get in the mode. And I actually got into shape because I was out of shape. I'm now in shape. I'm not tired all the time. It doesn't take me like a lot of energy to get upstairs. Like I'm actually in shape. Um, I was going to take the course, um, again on June, but I need a break y'all. I need a break. I'm actually taking a two week break because I got my lace done. And this costs like $200 to put in. So your girl will be back in the gym in two, in two weeks. But I'm taking a break. Um, I did a lot to get my body um, the way it is. I started in March and I ended in the last week of May. So, um, and I still have not ate pork or beef yet. So I don't plan on it because I don't know what's going to happen to me. I might get sick, but that's just what I'm doing and I still am my appetite is still the same so I don't really crave a lot of food so it works and that's exactly what I did and if you have any comments or questions or anything else please do not feel free to act like you're bugging me or anything I do respond to every comment and whatnot but this is just a video because I had so many people DM me last night it was funny um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.